Hey guys, welcome back to another Mass Effect 3 playthrough. In the last mission, we just did the most epic mission in the entire Mass Effect game. We took out a Reaper by ourselves. Something an entire squad couldn't do, we did by ourselves. So, Priority Rannoch, we got done with that. That was a pretty epic mission. We've got this Priority Mission, the Citadel. I feel like this is going to be one of the last missions we're going to do. Then we have this Eden Prime, all this stuff that's like mainly just exploration. Since this is most likely the last mission, I want to do a little bit more exploration and stuff, just to get everything uncovered. Commander, Let's talk to Hackett. Why pick me? If I may, Admiral, I have a personal question. Speak freely, Commander. Why me? Because you killed the damn Reaper, Shepard, that's why. Because you're the only son of a bitch I've got who knows how to kill Reapers. Anyone can. <laughs> you just have to be smart and hope you get lucky. Anyone can figure it out. Your dossier says otherwise, Shepard. You were trapped on a cruise all those years ago, and you were the only one... This guy's really life. lucky. Back then I saw more than just a soldier in the making. And because of that, you think I qualify to save the galaxy? Shepard, let me tell you something that I've learned the hard way. You can pay a soldier to fire a gun. You can pay him to charge the enemy and take a hill. But you can't pay him to believe. I don't follow, sir. When you went up against Sovereign, there was no good reason to believe you'd win. But your crew didn't seem to care. They yeah, I was able to convince them. Your trip through the Omega-4 relay? That's because Shepard's a complete badass. There was one. Yet there your crew was, standing beside you, proud to serve. Why? Because they believed in you, their leader. That's what I need now. This guy's George Washington, basically, Shepard. And I know you're the one who would get us to the other side. Reaper progress. What's the Reaper situation? It's not trending well, even if you did buy Radix some time. Our threat projections show the Reapers will gain the advantage on most other fronts. And now the Asari are a prime target. They're the most advanced race in the galaxy. We'll soon yeah, I don't think the Asari are going to be able to beat them. What about the Allied forces? What about the extra help? Bringing in both the Quarians and the Geth has helped us immeasurably. The Quarian fleet is providing evac and fire support, while the Geth attack with Sweet. supply lines. Sweet. All right. Nothing more, sir. Hack it out. Hack it out. Why would Shepard even ask? You know, why did you pick me? Because this guy's a freaking badass, that's why. Alright, we got... Holy crap, yep, we're closing to the end right there. Geth Corpse. So we've got the Geth. We've got 810 from the Geth, holy shit. We have even more from... Well, the Geth are almost as much as a Krogan. Geth Fleet. And we have Geth Prime Platoon. We have the Corians helping us too. Yeah, the Reapers are about to about to be toast. The minimum. We'll just keep on going in. Your galactic ready strength is now 51, 46. Galactic readiness is sitting at 50%. The Reapers are slowly but st steadily pushing back Allied forces. Troops assisting a final push will have a strength of 2581. Chance to readiness are low but measurable. How do I get my galactic readiness up? I don't know. But we'll find out. Alright, let me talk to my crew for a while. They all probably have new things to say. I just killed a freaking Reaper. They're all probably like, This guy's a badass. Shepard. This guy just killed a Reaper, dude. This guy's a man. Or they would just probably be like, James probably would be like, you know, you don't know how to fight. <laughs> hey, there we go. Yeah, Shepard did that. Let's see what this chick has to see. Unread messages at your private terminal. I hear you were on the ground with the Reaper. He fired up. Yeah, I was on the ground. I pretty much took him out. It's hard being in a fight like that. Especially when you're not the one flying the ship. Joker's one of the best, though. At first I was nauseous, swinging around in my safety harness. But then I was furious. Just... <sighs> enraged. I wanted Damn them right. That makes two you of us. The Reapers dead when they attacked Earth? I wanted them defeated. I wanted Earth saved. But I never wanted to physically... I guess that's what happened to Shepard. He just went in rage mode. Congratulations, trainer. I believe you've discovered your fighter flight <laughs> instinct. Perhaps I should have stayed with Chess. 
Although now I think I'm spoiled by the lack of explosions. <laughs> Commander. All right, let's read my private messages. I probably got new stuff. I've got work to do. From Tally Zora. Shepard, just wanted to let you know that I'm going to join Adamson Engineering. Seems like the best place for me to help as long as I'm coming at you anyway. Please drop by when you have a minute. All right, we can do that. And this is from the the person from that uh, Quarian fleet. Let's talk Quarian War from Diana Allers. Maybe hard to believe after what we just went through, but the rest of the galaxy is barely aware the Quarians ever went into the Veil, let alone start a war with the Geth. Okay, we can. Man, Diana Allers wants us to shepherd the man. <laughs> yeah, we can talk to her. All right, guys, let's go talk to Joker and. The other chick, Edie. You know the Quarians have done pretty well with those suits. Maybe they can make something like that for you. <laughs> yeah, they have. Protective medical exoskeleton. I can even get one with radio <laughs> strikes. So what's the problem? It's like walking around in heavy armor. It totally screws with my spatial awareness. Spatial awareness. <laughs> and my spatial awareness is perfect. Talk crap to each other. Uh, you crashed the last shuttle, you Vega. <laughs> I need to feel my balance shift when I'm flying. I need to feel the ship move. With me, you take that away. I don't know. I mean, I'm good, but not me. Yeah, I get that. I think they're friends. Come on, I don't have the hips to carry a suit like that. <laughs> Gotta hand it to you, Commander. That's the first time I've seen someone end a war by yelling. Couldn't kill the Geth. After seeing what the Geth Rebellion really looked like, I figured they deserved a chance. Thank you, Commander. I doubt many organics would have trusted a synthetic race. And now we've got two fleets for the price of one. We didn't yeah. lose anybody. Except that sucks, but... Before it sacrificed itself. Legion referred to itself as I instead of... I gained awareness. Yeah? It was so? his free will. The singular pronoun indicates Legion's independent personality had fully actualized. In its last moments. It was not an avatar of the Geth consensus. It oh, was crap. Person. That's what I figured. Well, when the Geth fleet helps us retake Earth, I guess we'll owe that to him. Yep. What's on your mind, Edie? I was just reflecting. The Quarian's historical era was not making the Geth enough like them. I'm not sure I understand. Units with networked intelligences will trend toward cooperation for mutual benefit. But units with central heuristics establishing an individual personality, such as myself, develop preferences. Yeah, she's not gonna like us, huh? Attachments that keep my calculations from devaluing the worth of the lives aboard the Normandy. You're saying the Geth turned on the Quarians because they aren't individuals. That is my theory, but it is limited to a sample size of one society. The only other notable synthetic society is the Reapers, and we do not know if they govern by consensus as the Geth do. Do me a favor. <laughs> Don't ask, Don't ask them. <laughs> Hello, Shepard. Hello, Shepard. Alright, we're done talking to these guys. Alright, let's go see what else is going on in this mission, in this, uh, crew cabin. Who else we can talk to? Was that, where did Diana want to meet me? Priority, Eden Prime. My project. Yeah, all this email is, like, just screwed up. Well, let's go downstairs. See, start from the shuttle bay and then go up. Start it from the bottom, now we're here. Start it from the bottom. James better give me props, man. I took out a Reaper. I can't believe you got the Geth and Quarians to play nice. You should get a metal Damn metal right, metal. man. It looks like we just need to get the Asari on board. And we can it took two games, but this game is finally giving me the props. They're that. finally giving Shepard respect. One step at a time, I guess. What's this guy even doing? What is he doing? What, what's so fascinating about this? He's just moving his hand along this thing. What the hell? Three hundred years it took to take the Victorian home war. <laughs> it looks like he's playing. It looks like he's playing with himself from here. For us. The heck! It looks like he's playing with himself from here. It's messed up. I'm ready to see Earth again, Shepard. I still can't. Hey. All right, hey. whatever. Let's go over here and talk to some other people. Cortez. What's Cortez up to? Yeah, he's doing the same thing. Look at this. What is this? He's just touching this. I've got to say, I enjoyed that last mission on Rana. Yeah, pit him against a defenseless jammy tower, and Esteban here feels like a <laughs> big man. 
Hey, the Kodiak is a transport, not a fighter. It's for dropping jarheads like you into hot zones. And if you stow the attitude, it might even be for picking you up. Stow the attitude. <laughs> Everything okay, Shepard? Commander? 